Hi everyone. So today we're continuing our series on God's design for work. And in a little while, Tony will be speaking to us on work and rest. So in our video today, I'm gonna make some bread. Now, what has that got to do with work and rest, I hear you ask? Well, I hope that will become clear as we go through the video. So now let's head over to the kitchen. So here we are in the kitchen and I've got all my ingredients ready. So in the bowl here, I've got a load of flour and then I've got the yeast here and some sugar and some salt and a little bit of olive oil here. And here's some spare flour for when we need to do some kneading. So all I have to do is I chuck all the dry ingredients in together like this and this and then I just want to mix them around so I've washed my hands already and I'll just mix all of those in now so now what we have to do is we have to do what's called knead the dough. So I'm just going to move these all out of the way. And now we get this out and we've got to knead it. And this is where the hard work begins because we have to knead this for 10 minutes at least. And it's pretty tough. So we have to really pump it and really work it. And the dough's working really hard now. So I think that is about enough. So what we're going to do now is we just put a little bit of oil back into the bowl and uh, spread that around a bit, just so the dough doesn't stick to it. Because what the dough has to do now is it has to prove. And while it's proving, it's sort of resting and it will grow because it's worked really hard. And now it needs to rest for a bit and regain its energy. So we put that back into the bowl and we're just going to cover that with cling film. And we need to leave that probably to rest for about an hour. So I'm going to try and set it up so you can see what happens while it's resting. So here we are again. And the dough has now been resting for about an hour or so. And I hope you saw that it's grown in size to more than double its size. And it's now time for it and me to do some work again. So I'm just going to put some oil on the work surface here so that the dough doesn't stick. And we're going to turn it out onto the work surface. And what I have to do now is what's called knock it back. So I get all the air out again. And you see the dough's now gone back to pretty much the same size as it was before. So I think that will probably do. And now what we have to do is we put it on a baking tray again. And once again, 
we have to leave it to prove. So, as you can see, this dough has now doubled in size again. As it's been resting, it's been growing. So it's nearly time to put it in the oven. So we're going to take the cling film off. What we're going to do is just score the top a little bit. We're just going to sprinkle a little bit of flour over it. And we're going to put it in the oven. So the bread's now been in the oven for half an hour and it should be cooked by now. So let's get it out and see. Doesn't that look amazing? So I wonder, did anyone notice the connection between work and rest? When I kneaded the dough, I worked the dough and the dough worked hard, didn't it? And then when it rested, when I left it, it grew and it doubled in size. And then I worked it again and then let it rest again. And it grew again and doubled in size again. And if I hadn't let the dough rest in between its work, when I put it in the oven, it wouldn't have become bread. It would have got hard and just been a bit like a stone. And do you know what? That's true for us too. If we just work and work and work, we'll become hard and tough and we'll never grow. But God designed us to have rest. He wants us to have rest because when we rest, we can grow in him and we can become more like him. Jesus said, come to me, all of you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. 